Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to give you a real good sense of what the CK AD exam is like and what do we have to be able to do to pass the test in a realistic sense. So here are 32 labs that I've done over the last, I don't know, maybe a year or so at different times, some, some many times, some not, some maybe once or twice. I've sorted them out in at the levels of di difficulty, so you get a, you get a sense of things, right? Because some of them are really difficult, and some of them are super easy. So if when you do the labs, you don't get a good sense of what's going on in terms of what the real exam is like. In the exam, you get 120 minutes to do 19 labs. So you get about average six minutes per lab, a little, little over that, and you have to get 12 or 13 right to pass the exam. So. Some of them are super, super easy. These are like creating a namespace, creating a pod, creating a secret from, from literal. These you should, you should be able to get it within a minute, minute and a half. You know, it's not that hard to do. Literally, some of them you can do in 15, 20 seconds. It's not that hard to do. So you have to be able to, on average, you have to be able to do them less than, um, uh, less, less than two minutes, right, per lab. The second category is they're relatively easy, right? These are things that you should know without thinking too much at all. Um, and for example, creating two pods with two containers with certain parameters, uh, creating a taint against uh, on the node, and then creating a toleration on the on, on the pod to get over that. You know, kill a, a get a, get a dump of the pod and a YAML, change the variable, um, and, um, and then kill the pod to get 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 a um, get a um, put the pod in a new state with the new environments. These things, you know, if you know what you're doing, it should only take you maybe uh, three to four minutes to do, you know. Uh, so on average, you should be able to do each one of these things under five minutes, right? Then you get to some of the ones, the real meat of the test, right? These are uh, things that take things that, that you may have to actually look, look it up on Kubernetes.io or through uh, kubectl help command or expand command. And it will take you some time to put together the, what they want you to do. So, for example, you, you know, in, on, on the simpler end, it may be a pod with, that runs while loop or mounts its config map as a volume or an ingress that it has maybe two parts, things like that, you know, things that you will know uh, how to do just from memory, right? You look it up, you, you, you will make the changes and apply the YAML to get it done. If you if you have really good practice, you can get them done in less than five minutes. But in, on the test, maybe on average, maybe under eight minutes, right? Um, the last uh, well, um, uh, last category are the long, really hard ones. You know, they're, they're not necessarily hard. Sometimes they're just long, and we, they may have different. They may have three, four par parts in them. These, I don't think you need to get any any of them right to pass the test, as long as you're doing good on the other part that are relatively easier, right? But it's good to practice with those because that gets you um, really good at what you're doing and to sort them out into in what the steps are, steps should be. And then then each step you should be able to do because they're basically repeat of what you've already done on the easy parts, right? So you get an idea, you know. So my my last, and I'll leave this in the description so you know you have that reference to of, of these labs I need to do. And I have videos on them, on, on majority of them, and I'm, I'm going to create even more of them so you know exactly what, what, what you're looking at. Um, but my last thought on this is, you see the third section, which should be able to do within eight minutes. You don't have to get them all right, but maybe half of them right under eight minutes, each one, each lab. Uh, and those what you really should focus on because those are the an average kind of difficulty. If you don't get the real hard ones, that's okay. So anyway, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please like and subscribe. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm, and I will see you next time.